Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you, my dear brothers and sisters. My name is Muhammad Ali, and today we will be looking at the virtue of teaching knowledge. We covered in a previous episode the merits of knowledge, its importance, and that without it we are but an empty shell. We analyzed traditions from the holy household, peace be upon them, and presented to you the emphasis Islam places on them. Today we're still in the same category of knowledge, but we will be looking at the virtue of being a teacher and teaching knowledge to others. We acquire knowledge. We charge ourselves and carry it with us. What is the point of having it on our shoulders if we do not teach it to the world? We spoke of the pen and we mentioned that the pen is man's greatest instrument because it allows us to transcribe our knowledge from our intellect onto paper. Henceforth, before even diving into the reports of the Holy Progeny, peace be upon them, we can say that sharing knowledge falls under the category of rational obligation of an individual. The rational people will tell you that sharing knowledge falls under the category of rationality, since what merit is there for an individual to carry knowledge and keep it to himself, when his knowledge can benefit public? take them from misguidance to guidance. Even the non-Islamic world, if a scholar in a particular field has researched and gained knowledge in his subject, should he not share it with the world to benefit? From his research, he may have cured diseases or helped save someone's life. Now that we have established from the rational point of view that it's not responsible to lock up useful knowledge, we will look at the reports from the Holy Progeny, peace be upon them. The first report informs us of the danger of not sharing knowledge. The Holy Prophet of Islam, peace be upon him, and his family said, someone who possess knowledge in a subject but conceal it when he asked, will be bridled with rain of fire. You see the consequences here of concealing knowledge? If one possesses information to aid someone and improve his situation, but he remains silent, he has committed a grave sin. Secondly, let us conclude by looking at the report narrated from the Holy Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him and his family. He said, Verily, what will continue to reach a believer after his death from amongst his actions and good deeds are the knowledge which he taught and spread. This tradition is very important because it solves the question, what is the benefit and reason for sharing knowledge? The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and his family informed us that the believer, after he passed away, is remembered by several characteristics, and of these characteristics is the knowledge he spread and taught to others. Because this knowledge lives for centuries through narrators, preachers, and books. Let us pray to Allah to grant us the opportunity to spread knowledge that we have, so we may leave our stamp on the historical timeline. Wassalamu alaikum. ورحمة الله وبركاته